is life and death. Finding warmth when the cold outside reaches dangerous levels. People need a, a safe place, especially when it's cold, even when it's hot. So when it's, when it's that cold outside, it's very important for a person to be able to have shelter and be able to protect themselves against the elements. The doors at repairs of the breach open at 7 p.m. each night, but their capacity limit is 30. You start accepting people in here at 7. If you had to guess, what time do you typically fill that 30 person limit? Whew. I say at seven. Denzel Thomas says they were one of the only warming centers in Milwaukee to remain open last year when COVID was at its peak. He says many of the shelters that the pandemic wiped out not returning this year. Are you guys one of the only places that's open like that? It seems so that we're the only places open right now like this, and it's kind of sad. The Milwaukee Health Department's website does not have a list of warming centers. It directs anyone needing shelter to call 211. And according to 211's website, there are two options for warming centers in Milwaukee, repairs of the breach and the rescue mission, limited to 30 spots for single men, 10 spots for women and children. At average, at night, we, we may have 75 people standing outside, and we only can take uh, 30 or 25 in, so it's kind of a letdown, but we just try to help the people that we can. When they can't provide shelter, they provide winter gear to those who need it. A need Thomas says they're bracing for an increase of, as temperatures are expected to dip to single digits this week. We're hoping that other warming centers will join in, in the fight to help people uh, stay warm and safe at night. In Milwaukee, Kendall Keys, WISN 12 News.